John Major and Tony Blair were both told to admit they were wrong, after the former Prime Ministers claimed a Brexit deal with the EU was finished. Prime Minister Boris Johnson successfully fulfilled his promise of striking a trade pact with Brussels, after critics argued he had run out of time to secure a deal before December 31st. He, and EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, both announced that an agreement had been made on Christmas Eve, bringing an end to years of tense debate. But Remainers such as Sir John and Mr Blair were critical of the government's handling of negotiations, once claiming a deal was long gone. And Brexiteers turned on the pair, with political commentator Andrew Pierce appearing to demand they admit they were wrong after the deal was announced. Mr Pierce said, Tony Blair and John Major said in a joint statement in September, Brexit talks were in disarray. And promise of a trade deal with the EU, long gone. Will they admit they were wrong? Of course not. The ex-prime ministers sparked a wave of anger among Brexiteers after they urged MPs to reject shameful attempts to override parts of the Brexit withdrawal agreement in September. They said, in a joint statement, that the government had embarrassed the UK after it sought power to change aspects of a treaty designed to protect peace on the island of Ireland. Writing in a comment piece for the Sunday Times, they claimed the Conservatives' proposal on the withdrawal agreement was shocking, adding, how can it be compatible with the codes of conduct that bind ministers, law officers and civil servants deliberately to break treaty obligations? As we negotiate new trade treaties, how do we salvage credibility as global Britain if we sublatantly disregard our commitments the moment we sign them? The pair argued that it risked undermining the Good Friday Agreement. They were also critical of the chances of the UK securing a deal at all with the EU. Sir John and Mr Blair's remarks were echoed by Mr Johnson's predecessor Theresa May, who also argued such a move to break the treaty would undermine trust in the UK. But despite a wealth off Remainers moaning on Twitter that a deal would not be brokered, Mr Johnson kept his vow to secure a pact that would allow the UK to take back control. Since the deal was announced, Mrs May said it was very welcome news, adding that the agreement provides confidence to business and helps keep trade flowing. 